Hello everybody and welcome to a Vlogmas Day 13. Um, so once again, I really have not vlogged much today. Um, I have just had a really chill day of like just relaxing and whatnot. But I figured that I would show you guys my like everyday makeup routine. I really don't do like a ton of stuff. Like I definitely don't like have like a full face on. But I do obviously wear makeup most of the days. So I figured why not show with you guys. Um, my everyday makeup routine and like the steps that I do and whatnot. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. It's really, really basic and simple. I, yeah, I don't do like a full face every single day, obviously, especially with um, like having to wear a mask and whatnot. I just don't like wearing a full face, but I do like wear concealer and everything like that. Um, I don't wear foundation um, just on like an everyday basis, but that's just personally what I like to do. Also, um, I know I showed you guys this primer in a haul that I did. I think it was in my Bath and Body Works video. I can't remember which one it was, but I bought this primer and it is from Urban Decay. It is the Optical Illusion Primer and this stuff is my freaking favorite. I'm not even kidding you. It does such a good job. So I literally only take like maybe that much. It's not, you really don't need a lot with this primer and I just like to massage it in and I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera or not, but it literally like blurs your face. Yeah, you can definitely tell a difference, um, but it like blurs your face so much and I feel like it is just really smoothing and whatnot. Like it feels really good on the skin. So this is personally what I like to use. Another really good primer that I like a lot is the the milk hydro grip primer this is also a really good one as well i like that personally for like whenever i'm doing like more of like a full coverage face and whatnot um so yeah this next step here i'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick hold on so this next step is very unnecessary but i personally like to do it just because i have the product and i really like it this is the hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury and it's basically a liquid highlighter but what i like to do is i like to put it a little bit underneath my eyes and it just kind of like helps to make my concealer not look as dry underneath my eyes and um it looks really crazy like i wouldn't do this and like not put concealer on the top but this is just personally what I like to do. So you can see it like makes my under eyes really glowy and whatnot. And I just feel like it makes my concealer look a little bit more hydrated. So that's personally why I like to do that. And for concealer, I like to use the e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer. And the shade I use is medium sand. I freaking love this concealer so much. I use it almost every single day. And I mainly like to put it on the inner corner and outer corners of my eyes. And then I get really red in between my brows. Also like to put some underneath my nose on any like acne that I have going on, um, which I do have a little bit of, but nothing crazy. And then because for some reason, like on my mouth down here, I do get a little bit dark. Uh, for some reason, I don't really know why. I do get like kind of like a shadow underneath my like lip area for some reason. So I take a lighter concealer. This is just the ColourPop no uh, no filter concealer in the shade 10 light and I just like to put that underneath just to help um, like brighten up that area a little bit and I just start to kind of blend this area out and I take the Real Techniques this is the expert face brush I really really like this brush just for like an everyday um, easy application I guess and I just like to blend this out but um, though I don't like wear foundation and whatnot i do like to make sure that this is blended out really well like all through my face so that way i don't like have one area that doesn't have any coverage on my face so yeah i will blend this out right in here and there we go and then i just start to do my eye area as well um typically whenever i'm doing like a full face i will like blend my concealer out with a sponge but on like a day-to-day -day basis i personally prefer using a brush just because it is a little bit easier it saves some time as far as like not having to wet your sponge and whatnot too Hold on, i'm gonna have to close my blinds okay i'm sorry if that made it darker in here but my the sun is starting to set so that's just what we gotta do, I guess. 
um because it's literally like five o'clock and it's already getting dark and i don't like that but you know i don't make the rules so there we go so that is it as far as concealer goes so what i like to do sometimes i do this on a day-to-day -day basis sometimes i forget that i if I do remember, I will use some cream blush. So this is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in the shade 140 Rose Romance. And literally, you need like that much. Like, you do not need a lot of this product at all. It sort of reminds me of the NARS Liquid Blush that I also really like. And I just like to warm it up on my fingers and just kind of tap it on. I don't apply much at all because it's really easy to kind of over apply cream blush i feel like so i literally just like barely put any on um i will put some powder blush over the top of this as well but i just like to put a little bit on underneath and then i like to set my face with some powder this is the maybelline fit me powder in 05 I really really like this powder it is super nice and it has a really good coverage and whatnot it's a lot better than airspun in my opinion because i feel like airspun definitely gives like quite a bit of a white cast and this is like a color powder which can also help with like brightening and everything like that too and then i just like to take a little real techniques brush um it doesn't have a number with yes it does zero zero four um and i like to use that to just kind of like set the areas that i applied the concealer and where i get oily which is like in my t-zone area so clearly i have to do my eyebrows because they've gotten covered up with a little bit of concealer so i just like to start off by brushing my hairs up and i like to use the nyx micro brow pencil in the shade taupe and i like to start off by filling in the very front because i do have like this little gap area in the front and then i like to kind of go down to my tail and just fill that in a little bit so once i have them filled in i like to take just a clear brow gel and i like to brush that through like mainly like the first half of my brow just to kind of like get them to stay where i want and then i will take a colored brow gel for the tail of my brows just because once again i do have really light hair on the tail of my brows so i personally like to do that and then for the tails of my brow i like to take a darker brow gel this is the essence make me brow in like the darker color and i just like to put that on the tails of my brow just to kind of help make them stand out a little bit more and plus that does match like my natural root color so that's personally why i like to do that um and it's not like too stark of a comparison as far as like where i didn't put it either as far as a day-to-day -day basis literally the only thing that i do on my eyes is i just do a little bit of like an inner corner highlight and i will curl my lashes and apply some mascara so i just make sure i curl them really really well because my lashes do not look good if i don't curl them at all so i personally have to do that and then for mascara i really like the essence lash princess this one is literally only five dollars um and i believe that you can get it um and you can get it at ulta i believe you can also get it at cvs as well and i just like to apply this dang we had us looking at crazy today i did wear some waterproof mascara yesterday so i feel like this is like changing how it looks a little bit like normally it doesn't look like this crazy okay so that is pretty much it for my lashes and then next up is like face products and everything like that so i've been using here lately the nars laguna bronzer i really like this as far as just like an everyday bronzer this used to be super popular like a long time ago i got mine at tj maxx so i did not pay the price for mine but i really really like it and i just like to take this really big fluffy brush this is a japanese brush and i just like to dust that on it looks crazy don't worry i'm about to blend it out in just a second but um i feel like this brush is really good at just like diffusing the product really well and i just like to kind of put this on like the typical areas where you bronze and whatnot i like to go a little crazy with bronzer because um i look really pale <laughs> without it so yeah i just like to do that i always like to put some on my chin i feel like that kind of helps to cut my chin a little bit and like 
down my neck as well just to kind of blend the product out and whatnot and then as far as like blending that out i just take a big like kabuki brush and it looks just like this and i like to just kind of run that over my forehead and just kind of like blend this out a little bit and already that like makes it look a lot more smooth and whatnot and a lot less crazy and for blush i've also been really liking this anastasia um it's like a blush trio and the only ones that i really like to use are like this like more muted one right here maybe a tiny bit of like that medium pink um but i focus mainly on like the more muted color and i just like to just mainly kind of put that over top of my blush um, I don't like to put it on like the apples of my cheeks like I don't like to put it like right here I like to kind of put it more back um, Just because I feel like that's like a little bit more slimming on my face personally and as far as a highlight I've been really liking using the um, Tarte and Whitney Simmons collab and I've been liking going in with like the highlighter shade So that is mainly what I like to use and I will just kind of like put this on on the tops of my cheekbones And I just make sure that I blend it out really well um and that's what I personally like to do and kind of like bring it on like the side of my temple like that and that's how I like to apply it and then I just kind of put some on my cupid's bow and also on my inner corner as well okay I like to kind of blend that out and then I also take some on my brow bone as well I like to do it a little bit more diffused on my brow bone just because I don't want it to be like super harsh there, but I definitely still want it to be there as well. <laughs> and then for my nose, just like to put some. And then for my nose, I just like to take a little bit on my pinky and do like an exclamation mark down my nose. And then um, I did get some mascara like on my eyelids. So I just like to take my little spoolie and just kind of scratch it off. And that's like the easiest way to take mascara off if you've gotten something on your eye. And I'm just like scraping this off to over here. Okay. And then I almost forgot. I like to add a little beauty mark right here. And I know it might be weird to do this, but... But I think it looks really cute. It's very subtle. Like it's not anything crazy or anything like that. But I personally like to do it. I feel like it makes my face like come together. So yeah. lipstick i'm really not wearing any the only thing that i've been doing as far as lips is chapstick which is my favorite and then i like to set my face so i like to use the urban decay all-nighter spray and i just like to spray some of this on my face and it helps with my mask as well like with it staying on better and then i will kind of take whatever is on um like whatever makeup is on my lips and I do like to remove it and I will just put my chapstick on and it does kind of give like a little bit of like a rosy tint which I really like also I did see this trick sometimes if I do want to wear a little bit of a lip product you take your brow pencil and you line your lips with it which is like very weird but it's supposed to be like a really easy like subtle way to line your lips and it like looks a whole lot less intense than like putting on like an actual like lip liner and that's literally it like that's all i do it's nothing anything like super dramatic or anything like that but i do feel like it definitely makes a difference so that is pretty much it for my everyday makeup routine i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please be sure to like this video also subscribe to my channel down below and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye